What's up guys, Tony Von Vecchio at the Strength House of Worcester, Mass. Today I'm gonna to talk about reverse flies or rear delt flies. So we like these a lot to build up the mass of the upper back, so in the rear deltoids and the rhomboids. Just give you more thickness in your upper back to help support the bar when you're squatting, support your upper back position while benching, or of course keep the bar close to you while deadlifting. So you can do these either in a bent over position, like a deadlift hinge position, or face down on an incline bench. So I'm gonna show you both of them. So for the bent over version, you're gonna take light dumbbells or weight plates. You don't need a lot of weight for these because it's a pretty small muscle group. You're gonna basically take your deadlift stance, hinge back, keep a slight bend in your elbows, and then raise the dumbbells out to the sides by pinching your shoulder blades together. So if you have a neutral grip with palms facing, it's gonna be a little bit more mid back and rhomboids. You can also turn your palms down and have your thumbs facing each other to get a little bit more rear delt. So you're gonna keep the hands to the front a little bit more and these will hit the rear delts a little bit more than the mid back. If you're gonna do these chest supported, we like to use a fairly low incline on these. Then you're gonna set up just like you would for a chest supported row. So chin over the edge. You're not gonna rest your chest into it too much. So you're gonna pick your chest up slightly without like over arching. And then the same thing applies. A little bit of elbow bend, either palms facing to hit more mid back or palms down out in front of you a little bit more to hit more rear delt.